What is the right amount of client contact? This is a question most financial advisors ask, certainly those that want to be successful in serving their clients well. That's this week's first word subject. I'm John Bowen, CEO of CG Worldwide, and I got to tell you, this is one that troubles so many financial advisors. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you not only the right amount of client contact that we're seeing from financial advisors, but I'm also going to share with you what the affluent are telling us as well. Let's take a look at our most recent research on the financial advisors. This is a study of 2,100 financial advisors, a little more than that. And what we wanted to do is understand how much client contact they had. And client contact we counted at, and emails, personal, now not blasting them out, personal emails, phone calls, face-to-face, -face, it could be a video conferencing, um, any way that you're going to have that personal interaction. Now, we looked at, uh, we've broken into four groups and uh, of types of contact, level of contacts, two to three times a year, all the way up to once a month. We broke it into incomes. Let me blow this up so it's a little easier for you to see. Well, we found moderate income, those advisors netting less than $100,000. Well, you can see they're pretty evenly spread. About a little over half are doing two to three times a year or maybe quarterly. And then, you know, just in the, the balance, not uh, a little bit more with really 29% at least once a month they're having contact. Middle income, 100,000 to 500,000. You can see it's pretty evenly divided until we go to the at least once a month, 45.2. High income, it just shoots up. It's almost a super majority, uh, strong majority at 59.4 that are doing at least once a month. See, if you want to be a great financial advisor, serving your clients well, and build a great business, be that entrepreneur, then you want to take a look at what the most successful financial advisors are doing. You also, though, want to look at what the affluent want. So I don't have a slide on the affluent, but let me tell you what they're doing. The affluent want, on average, 28 contacts a year. Affluent to us, an affluent private client, is someone that has a million dollars or more of financial assets. And on average, they want 28 contacts. I mean, wow, I can remember when we first released that. And, and it's been pretty consistent at that number for a long time. Financial advisors, including myself, push back and say, whoa, that's a lot. See, this is why you want to create the systemic processes. Because you can see here, when we look at financial advisors who are making 500000 or more, it's 59.4% that are doing at least once a month. And I can tell you, if you go up higher incomes, it is even more. See, the more focused you are on serving the right affluent clients, the more satisfied they are, the more likely you are to retain them for the rest of your life and their life, and the more likely they are to give you increasingly large portions of their investments as well as going ahead and introducing you to people they care about to get the same experience you're delivering. So it's critical that you create a systemic process that delivers this world-class wealth management experience that satisfies their need for contact. This is a great business. You do well by your clients, current and future, you're going to do extremely well. We wish you the best of success.